One of the ways that I like recommending in my corporate leadership seminars on how to build strong teams and help people access their potential is through the term success magnetism. Employee engagement will shift from 31% to 67% when managers shift from weakness-based feedback to strength-based feedback. Also, turnover will reduce by 14.3%. So this really comes out from how do we look at people's strengths and encourage that. But also one of the things about success magnetism is that it works opposite the toilet bowl effect, is that when we create magnetism towards what's positive, it's like it pulls all the negative things up as well into the positive and it makes it easier for people to approach their weaknesses and become stronger in those areas. The other thing that I like people to keep in mind is that a way in which somebody's supposed to operate is really like a judgment by an organization as to how they want to operate and what they feel is successful. We make an agreement within each society, within each culture, within each organization, what principles and practices we want to follow. But not everyone naturally has the talents, abilities, beliefs, values that match that. Um, we want to make sure that when we're giving feedback that we're not making somebody feel like they're at fault, like they're not a valid human, because they're not naturally a match. How many people are naturally a match to 100% of all the things that any organization wants? So instead, think about those conversations as offering somebody a gift in order to succeed where they are. That'll also help you when you're hesitant to give feedback. Know that you're giving them a gift so that they can grow and excel, especially if you already know what their goals are and you're giving feedback based on what their long-term goals are. So this becomes personalized and it's also not just about the company. So here's one way to think about this when you're giving feedback is first, Express to the person you're giving feedback to what you like best about what they've been doing. Then you can make a request. Now this might be a required request if you're their boss, but you make it sound like a request, a suggestion, feedback, something you want in the future, because then you'll say next time. If this helps you remember, uh, we call this LB and NT, liked best and next time. Now, here's the deal. If you would potentially separate the LB from the NT and only give the NT at the time that somebody's going into the project, that also forces them not to think about that as a review of their faults of the past, but just as advice of what they need to do in the project going forward. So that's one way because sometimes people still see through and they just end up focusing on the feedback. They turn it around as negative, then they berate themselves and we we want to think about how we're going to get that success magnetism, how we're going to help people feel positively about them. LB and T, and if possible, just give the LB and then give the NT instruction before the next time somebody's going to be going into a similar activity. Good luck and enjoy.